can you please break down and drop the science about the chicken? Man, My people need to hear this, man. They need to hear this because I saw that thing you put up on your Instagram mm-hmm. and I was like, that blew me. That blew my wig all the way back. So could you take the time out to explain to my audience? About yeah, so I- so yeah. the chicken is uh, not a hybrid. The chicken is GMO. The chicken was actually created by splicing uh, genes and introducing certain type of DNA into what you are called a red wing jungle fowl and a, a, a black uh, gray wing jungle fowl from Africa. That's where you get chickens from. Chickens are not real. And because they were actually created uh, in a laboratory per se, per se, I'm going to say that the reason why, because they did gene splicing to them. Uh, the, it's they're acidic to the body. They create a whole lot of uric acid. Uh, they also, when you cook them, uh, they turn into heterocyclic amines. Heterocyclic amines is uh, very malignant forming to the cells, meaning it causes cancerous cells. And then the smell from it uh, comes from something called high called hydro aromatic hydrocarbons and these hydro aromatic hydrocarbons is bad it causes co- uh, throat cancer chickens are just bad and, uh, and they eggs are bad too and then plus it's a meat so they tell you that chickens come from the dinosaur the dinosaurs were their ancestors and that's a complete lie because when you look at the genealogy of the chicken especially what the Rothschilds and the DuPonts at uh, the Rothschilds Museum in Jerusalem in New York said about the chicken they actually give you the history on where they come from so you know chickens are not new now you you see things about hens in the bible and certain other literature but they're actually talking about gray wing fowls and, and red wing fowls that's what they was calling hens and chick hens back then this new chicken that we talking about is totally false and it's not only a hybrid but it's gmo and it's causing a lot of sicknesses and it's one of the number one cancerous causing uh artificial meats in the world, y'all, chicken causes cancer. And if you're wow. going to get down into the actual science of it, I mean, all of the political science, all you have to do is go on my YouTube, Yaki Awaken, and look at all of the, and you can cite this stuff. All you got to do is Google it. And I'm any, I'm, I'm offering $5,000 to anybody to clinically prove me wrong, five grand. If you can go on there and dispute that with other articles or you can dispute that with anything that actually holds up and stands that's got a credible source that's behind it, I will give you some money showing you that I'm willing to bet everything on my bottom dollar that that chicken is artificial. Chickens are new. Same thing with the cow. The cow actually comes from a Mexican black bull and a white Brahma bull from West Africa. That's where you get your modern day cow from. You know, and Dr. Sebi been saying this for years. It's just now we have the science to prove this stuff. The vulture, which is your modern day turkey. The turkey comes from the vulture. Look at them. They look just alike. So, you know, we've been eating. We've been eating things and calling it food. But the true food for human beings is a fruit diet, a frugivore diet, you know, and and limited vegetables. That's all. And like I said, is, is we at that point right now? I don't think we are. I think we have a lot of expanding of consciousness and a lot of healing to do. But, you know, there's nothing wrong with looking towards that, though, and to say, OK, now I know I'm a God. I know my diet. I know what my living is supposed to be. Let me start at least integrating some of that into my into my weekly, you know, my weekly plans and goals.